Hey guys, Ben Lingo here. I just wanted to make a quick video showing you how I edit my photos and get them ready for printing by sharpening them. Now there are a lot of different methods for sharpening your photos for print, but this is the one that I use the most and I find it's the most effective and hopefully you will as well. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come over to the layers panel and you're going to drag this down to this thing that looks like a square with a corner folded up on it and that will make a copy of your background layer. After you make a copy of your background layer you're going to double click on that copy and you're going to make sure everything on the layer style panel here is exactly the same except your opacity which you're going to make 66 percent. The next thing we're going to do is come up to filter and then come down to sharpen and click on unsharp mask. Now that we have unsharped masks option panel open up, we're going to have these settings. The amount's going to be 320%. The radius is going to be 0.6 pixels and your threshold is going to be four levels. So click OK on that. OK, after we do this, if we actually zoom in here and I turn this layer off, we can see that there is actually quite a lot of sharpening that's already been added but this is not the end of this tutorial so let me just keep going with this so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up to the edit up and edit panel up here and basically we're going to go to fade unsharpen mask we're going to make the opacity 70 percent and we're going to change this to luminosity down here and click OK okay now that we've done that there's only a few more steps that we have to apply to this to make it really pop so the final steps are going up to the filter once again, going down to other this time and selecting high pass filter. Now you're probably looking at this and going, whoa, what is going on? Well, stay with me. It's going to get much better. So make sure your radius is at 2.0 pixels and click OK. And then the final thing is you're going to come back over to the layers panel and you're going to look right above the background copy and see if this thing says normal have the drop down menu come and you're going to click on overlay and there you go now it's back to normal no problem what I love so much about this sharpening method is that the opacity for this layer actually dictates how much sharpening is added or detracted from this so if I bring it down the less sharpening you'll see and the more I bring it up the more sharpening you'll see so guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helped you out in some way, shape or form. Remember, as always, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. And if you like these videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.